Hi everyone and welcome back to my Canada Immigration Explore YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to talk about IRCC announces cap on admissions for international students, immigration, refugees and citizenship Canada has announced that is implanting a temporary cap on the number of international students who are issued study visas. Release from IRCC shows that for 2024, the cap is expected to result in approximately 360,000 approved study permits, a decrease of 35% from 2023. Further, IRCC is introducing caps for each province and territory. The department says the caps will be weighted by population and will result in significant decreases in provinces where the international student population has seen the most unsustainable growth. The caps will not impact current study permit holders or study permit renewals and do not include those pursing master's and doctoral degrees. IRCC says that as of today, January 22, 2024, every study permit application submitted to IRCC will also require an attestation letter from a province or territory. PTs are expected to establish a process for issuing these letters no later than March 31, 2024, the department says it will reassess the cap in 2025. Let's talk about changes to eligibility criteria for post-graduation work permits. IRCC has also announced changes to the eligibility criteria of the post-graduation work permit, PGWP. Starting September 2024, international students starting a study program that is part of a curriculum licensing arrangement will no longer be eligible for the PGWP. IRCC has explained that under curriculum licensing agreements, students physically attend a private college that has been licensed to teach the curriculum of an associated public college. Although these programs have attracted international students in recent years, they have less oversight than public colleges and therefore are a loophole to eligibility for the PGWP. IRCC has also announced that international students who have graduated from master's programs or other short graduate level programs will be able to apply for a three-year work permit. Under the current criteria, the length of a PGWP is based on the length of the individual study program. This criteria materially limits master's students as it shortens the amount of time they are eligible to gain Canadian work experience and eventually transition to permanent residency. In the upcoming weeks, the department will also release more details regarding open work permits for the spouses of international students. IRCC says that open work permits will only be available to spouses of international students in master's and doctoral programs. The spouses of international students in other levels of study, including undergraduate and college programs, will no longer be eligible. Let's talk about challenges to system integrity. The measure was widely anticipated as Immigration Minister Mark Miller began publicly discussing the possibility in summer 2023 and again in a December release. Ahead of the September 2024 semester, we are prepared to take necessary measures, including limiting visas, to ensure that designated learning institutions provide adequate and sufficient student supports as part of the academic experience. He went further and said in an interview with CTV News last week that he would be announcing measures regarding temporary residents. Particularly international students, in the first quarter of this year, there has been growing pressure on IRCC to take action around the number of international students in Canada. The minister has said that the volume of students poses a challenge to the integrity of the system. In the CTV interview he said some institutions had people from outside the country, paying a premium dollar to and not necessarily getting the education they were promised. The latest IRCC release says that some institutions have significantly increased their intakes to drive revenues, and more students have been arriving in Canada without the proper supports they need to succeed. It further notes that rapid increases in the number of international students arriving in Canada also puts pressure on housing, health care, and other services. In the end, I would like to request you please like the video and subscribe Canada Immigration Explore YouTube channel and also share this video to your friends and family members for Canada Immigration Updates. Thank you, see you in the next video, take care.